Australians have discovered poker machines in our pockets, pushing gambling spending up 300% in the pandemic. That's according to a recent report by analytics firm Alpha Beta. Our network finance editor, Gemma Acton, joins us now. Gem, good evening to you. Just how much money is on the line here? Yeah, well, so that statistic you mentioned is really interesting. So three times as much as normal being spent during this latest phase of lockdowns. Mm. And that comes from looking at consumer spending data. So they've got evidence to back it up. What's so interesting about it as well is that if you even compare to last year's lockdowns, there's a lot more spending happening now on gambling. Now clearly that is largely an uptick in online gambling because so many venues have been closed and there's that really flammable combination of people working from home, so having less supervision around mm. them, less entertainment options, so it's just something to do. The incredible technology in our pockets now, as you said, pokey in the pocket, these apps are intentionally addictive and yeah. sophisticated and easy to use uh, and also savings Australians have saved up a storm in the last year and a half and they've been topped up as well by government stimulus in many cases and this is all coming together to just really increase that. So normally when you go and sit at the pokies you eventually have to break that routine somewhere because yeah. you get up, you go away, you go and get a meal or a beer or go home but if you're sitting at home on your device, you going. gambling and off you go so it's gone through the roof. Now New South Wales pubs and casinos, they're, they're open again as we know, uh, would we expect to see people return to the pokies? Well it's not necessarily the same demographic that uh, bet at pokies uh, compared to the people who are now now betting online. In fact, the analysts who did this report think it's a whole new wave of people who've been introduced to gambling overall for more or less the first time. They might have had a flutter when they were younger, but as a serious ongoing habit, um, have developed it recently. And what we're seeing is that it tends to be younger, predominantly male, um, aged under around 30, often full-time workers uh, and tech savvy so that's why they're just so comfortable with using these phones that's very different you tend to get an, an older set mm. who goes to venues such as pubs or casinos to gamble one other thing to watch at the time at the, the current time is uh, we saw last year some really interesting stats from new south wales authorities that looked at the uptick in spending in regional pokey machines mm. uh, during the time of a lot of government support so job keeper job seeker when people could make super withdrawals as well and that fell away once those payments stopped and we are now entering a phase where government support right. packages are again winding down so it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens to both online gambling and venue gambling it's fascinating all right Gemma thank you thanks Michael